See pregnant woman here with me that telling about we are 65. See her there. Lord God, me fast in the early morning. See mom's there. Alright. I'm gonna say you're soft, Lord. Shock you well. Hunger vlog, I can't do this. Hey. <laughs> whoa, 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 so flow. So flow, my shock you well. Set that beat, father. Set that beat, yeah. Hey, so flow, you can turn the flow, that out of what? Hey, so flow. Mother can't get away with anything. Mother can't get away with the mercy. Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. Someone said they never tuned into my channel before and they just tuned into the first morning thoughts and they subscribed to the channel and they love the morning thoughts. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Someone said, if you did have money, you would have bought so you know. I don't know why they would say something like that, but... Boasty is not in my DNA. I don't have anything to be boasty about. I'm one of the people that preach. Um, I don't really preach, but I talk to people about you not feeling like you're better than anybody else. We're not here for show off or nothing. You know what I mean? We're here to uplift each other. Anyway, this morning, I would like to say big up to all the people who've been with the morning thoughts since I used to sit around and say, um, you see that building back there? I'm going inside to get my daily bread. I'm not going inside to get my daily bread. As you can see, I've been on vacation for a while. And it's not vacation because I'm still working here. But it's I'm not on somebody's clock. Understand? Doing entrepreneurial things. Big up to all the entrepreneurs. Big up to all the people going to work this morning. Big up to all the people just coming off of the night shift. Big up to the grandmother, the auntie, the uncle, the cousin, the mother, the father. Big up to every single person out there who tunes into SoFlo TV to catch these morning thoughts and other videos. If you're not subscribed here, go ahead and do so. Hit that, what's it called? Hit that notification bell. It's right next to the subscribe button. That bell allows you to be notified every time a video is uploaded to SoFlo TV. A lot of people are saying... Soflo, I didn't even know that you're still on YouTube. YouTube don't even send me notifications for your channel no more. I tried unsubscribing and subscribing back again to see if it'll work. It still didn't work. I have spoken to YouTube about it. No avail. I still have literally thousands of people saying they're getting no notification. But we continue. We are getting a fight. This morning's video now, we come to talk about... Knowing your worth or not being afraid to let go right. So you are going to know your worth this morning. And you are going to not be afraid to let go if it's detrimental to your development, to your happiness. Right? Alright. Check it. As much as I talk about longevity and relationships and all that. Some of us, or should I say some of you. I'm one of you. Some of us, we in relationships where you know the relationship ain't going anywhere. You know the relationship is stifling your spirituality, your growth spiritually as a person. Your growth, the, the relationship is stifling your happiness, right? You messed around and hooked up with somebody that does not appreciate life. And truly does not appreciate you. And it's causing resentment. You want out. But you still stick around. And you're sticking around only to please people around you. Because everybody is saying, you're such a beautiful couple. Let me tell you where I'm getting this from. Vibes Cartel and his common law wife, Shorty. All right, so here's a picture of Vibes Cartel, supposedly new beau, right? According to social media, we know Vibes Cartel right there has been incarcerated for a while, a number of years now, 
and here is his wife Shorty or living wife Shorty with him we're going to talk about that kiss later here is some female who uh, I don't know who she is probably one baby mother and I know this one to be definitely a baby mother for sure that's the mother of his daughter all these while he was with Shorty and of course there was the rumors about Vanessa Bling we never catch them on tape but everybody knows how that goes but we did catch this one right here and that's Lisa Hyper singing on the mic her uh, follow the story right Vibes Cartel and Shorty been together for many years now. Many, many years now. Decades now. And she is the mother of his three boys. I know a lot of people are going to say, you've been with him for decades now. You're the mother of his three boys. Y'all live in the same house. And he's not married you. Put a ring on it. All this other stuff. And you still stay. That alone should tell you that he didn't choose you, so you should have been left. All that. Let's take into consideration here that people's relationship arrangements can be different from yours. It's news flash again, once again, that Vibes Cartel and Shorty has broken up. I didn't expect Shorty to wait no 35 years, but they're saying that no, a rumor's a road, you know. They're, but my message is tied into this for you this morning. They're saying that it was not even her choice to break up with Cartel because she really would have waited. But, you know, woman out here and you're in there and she get lonely and she get somebody for love her now and then in the meantime, not love her, but satisfy her uh, needs and wants in the meantime then. It's needs, really. Now, it happens that the story is that Vibes Cartel is not pleased with that. So, and he is hearing about it because of him named Vibes Cartel and many eyes are on her. And she can't really make no moves without him knowing. So, him getting wind of that, what he has decided to do is call the relationship quits. So, he barred her from family day up at the um, facility that he's incarcerated at. He barred her off the visitors list so she can't go visit him. And it's the second time that they have been uh, broken up since he's been incarcerated. And there are trails of it on social media. Now keep in mind, I'm not saying that they are broken up. I'm going off of the popular news that's out there. Because on social media, you have one guy saying something about, in the comment section about um, cartel. That's what Shorty and now in one tar back. And Vibes Cartel apparently, or not apparently, but allegedly, answered the person and said, one back what? One back who? Something, something, something when me left, me left, this and that. And all these other things. So people are saying it's proof. It's proof that they've left. My theory on that, though, is that Vibes Cartel is probably going to be coming out um, come... Sometime this year. He's going to be stepping out of prison sometime this year. And he's drumming up publicity. Right? He's drumming up publicity, giving people something to talk about. Because apparently that's the type of news that sells. Nobody wants to hear. She's been holding it down for eight years. She has never been with anyone else. She's faithfully waiting on him. No, that sounds too good. Them who are here... She out a road I take man and woman and she party every night. Why oh, she cheat for cartel and... The kind of news that sells. So, I guess, and Vibes Cartel is known <clears throat> to be one of those people that know how to drum up publicity and pretty much control the media and use it to his advantage. So, that's my opinion. But, off the storyline that's floating out there is that they've broken up. And I'm going off that side playing devil's advocate and I'm saying a lot of you out here are in relationships where come on now everybody know Cartel had a lot of women with Shorty you his 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 private got his private part man piece got caught in a very famous 
other entertainer mouth while he was with Shorty. It's known or rumored that he also had relations with all the other females in his camp while with Shorty. Y'all are run down the girls are youth. What you expect me to do? Love them. Remember that song there? <laughs> so, and, and Vibes Cartel made no, no, he picked no bones about it. He had a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? So, when you are in a relationship, no, he even one part in one of the songs where he sang about shot if she catch him with a woman last night. And she fling after me with a knife. Me hug her up and say, that's all right. Gala run down the Gaza youth. What you expect me to do? Love them. Tender touch them. You see what I'm saying? So that tells me they've, she has never approved of this. It's probably one of those situations where he's wealthy and powerful and she are having children them and she decides to say, okay, I'm just going to stay because there are a lot of other perks that comes with the relationship. Cartel, just don't make me catch you, you know. Just don't make me catch you, can't any day me catch you. I hell on powder house. And fling after me with a knife is one of the instances where she caught him and, you know, he was being brazen, party near the house. She drive down there, some girl say, Cartel, I say, yo, shorty, Cartel, don't get with a girl, you know, in a car, them there. I want bag of something to go and hug up and touch up and thing. And she, she run down there. Shorty catch me last night. She fling off at me with a knife. Cartel is a genius songwriter, so he put it in a song, right? But a lot of these things are real life happenings. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But I'm using that to segue this. <clears throat> You're in a relationship. You don't approve of what's going on. Know when to leave. Don't stick around. And it doesn't have to be one of those... Um, Romantic relationships. It could just be a friendship. But know when you're being used. Know when you're not being loved. Know when you're not being respected. Right? All the signs are there. Stop dragging it along and waiting for <clears throat> grown people to come around and respect you when they feel like it. And then love you when they feel like it. Know when you're time has expired and move on don't be afraid to let go don't be afraid to move on sometimes it hurts to let to hold on more than to let go it's true sometimes it hurts more to hold on than to let go and you know when it's time to let go don't be afraid to let go let go i'm not telling nobody to throw away your good good relationship you know some relationship you can work out work it out all right don't be so quick, especially in romantic relationships. That's why we don't have people like our grandparents anymore that we can look at with pride. My grandparents on both sides, my mom's side and my dad's side, they're still together to this day. Rest in peace, my grandmother. She passed away last year from my father's side. But on my mother's side, they're still together, right? And even though my grandmother from my father's side passed away last year, he sits in his room all day now and stares at her picture. And as soon as you walk in that room, that's the first thing he asks you. You remember who this is? You know? Yeah, his grandma. Huh. Grandma. He's still in love with his wife. And he genuinely kept his oath. Right? So, some relationship. Work out your relationship. I'm not talking about when you run from relationship to relationship. But, if you're in a relationship that's damaging for you, most people know it. And most people know it from even the beginning of the relationship, but keep telling themselves that they're going to hold on and make it work. Don't be afraid to let go. Let go. All right? Your blessings sometimes come when you let go from that toxicity. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm up out of here. Have a wonderful, blessed, progressive, productive day. Love yourself. Love yourself. If you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. All right? And then, after you love yourself, spread love all around. I'm out. Peace.